What's up everybody, if you that don't know me, my name is Chris, aka Mr. Grow It, and you'll watch a Maxxis channel. Here I have the Spider Farmer SF4000 LED grow light. Spider Farmer sent me this grow light to test out, and I figured I would do this unboxing and also test the power output. I'm not going to go over all of the grow lights features in this video, but I will leave a link to this grow light in the description section below, so you can click on that link to learn more about this grow light. They've also provided me a coupon for my viewers. You can use code MrGrowIt5 on Amazon USA, Amazon CA, DE, or Amazon UK. For the part test, I'm going to use the Apogee MQ500 PAR meter. This meter measures from 389 nanometers to 692 nanometers, plus or minus 5 nanometers. And the measurements are in PPFD. If there's any light being emitted outside of that range, it's not going to show on this meter. Okay, first thing out the box, they've included some garden tags. There's a few different colors here. Here is a wire hanging kit and two rope ratchet hangers. The power cord is already attached to the drivers. They use two drivers, the Meanwell ELG240. They've included some measuring tape so you can measure out the light distance, a thank you card, and the SF series grow lights user manual. This LED grow light has a flowering coverage area of five foot by five foot. Although many growers say that this is overstated a little bit and it's said that a four foot by four foot grow space is a better fit. I'm gonna hang the grow light in a four foot by four foot grow tent and I'll take measurements at four different distances, which are the distances that they recommend in their user manual. 30 inches away, 24 inches away, 18 inches away, and 12 inches away. If this is your first time watching one of my part test videos, I do this just to give you a general idea of what the PAR output is. Not everybody has a PAR meter, so they can't check and see these numbers themselves. So this isn't gonna be a 100% accurate test. Also, the reflective walls on the grow tent could increase the numbers, so just keep that in mind. Last thing to look at before we get into the measurements is the wattage pull. My kilowatt meter shows 3.68 amps, pulling 443 watts from the wall. All right, let's get into the measurements.
What do you think about these measurements? Let me know in the comment section below. Just a reminder that there is a link to this Corolla in the description section below along with the discount code. That's pretty much it for this video guys. If you enjoyed it, please click that thumbs up and I will leave it at that. Thank you so much for watching and until next time, peace.